Hi and welcome to day 6 of week 12 of training cycle 1 of 2021. Finally, the last training session that has to do with strength. So I would say the last strength training session as well as the last jump rope uh, session is for the whole of this training cycle is complete. I only have one session left and that is tomorrow's run. But more on that later. Today was a very solid, very solid training session. I got all three planned lifts for today, as you know, my Saturdays. They're just squat, bench, deadlift. Otherwise, I have a fuck ton of exercises um, the all, all the other days of the week. Um, but actually, I made an exception this week. Uh, in case you didn't notice, uh, yesterday I didn't make a video. And that's because uh, it was late and... It, no, it wasn't late in the evening. It was early evening i was already extremely tired and i lay down on the floor i slept there for several hours then late evening one of my parents woke me up and at that point i was really fucking tired and i didn't have the energy to match lifetime personal records um i didn't really have the energy to brush my teeth which i brushed my teeth but that was a struggle so i went to bed instead but look at this bench press, look how perfect that was, super good speed. But yeah, I didn't make a video today, I'm sorry, I just, I just didn't, I didn't train, didn't do anything, I went, to, I went to bed, and I really needed to sleep. I think I slept from, yeah, I slept like almost 12 hours, um, and I had already slept on the floor probably between two and three hours, I would guess. So I probably slept in total, the last 24 hours I've slept, around um god what is it 14 15 hours something like that and um i really needed that because i've had a really rough rough week and it's not like i'm not i don't think school's that hard it's just it's just a time commitment and when you're bad with time management you don't really need to have very much a very significant level of time commitment to still let it fuck you up so I think it's it's not really school's fault. It's not the education system. It's not anything. Uh, it's just me being stupid and not managing my managing my time correctly. Not going to train at seven o'clock when I'm really tired. Just because I have more energy usually at ten o'clock doesn't mean it's the best way. Because then I'm going to go to bed later. I'm going to wake up early, and I continue this vicious cycle of not sleeping enough. Which uh, many teenagers it ends up like that. You know, last summer break. I was going to bed at 4 a.m. and I was feeling absolutely fantastic. So, I mean, my natural body clock, if I let it just, if I let it do what it wants, you know, I'm going to end up with some pretty terrible routines when it comes to um, bedtime and, um, what is it called? Wake up time, whatever. So, yeah, um, more on that, more on that another time. Um, but yeah, I didn't make a video yesterday. But what I am going to do is make a video, probably, I'm probably going to post it on Monday, or I'm going to post it on Sunday, tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make a video about Train Cycle 1 of 2021, which will be complete after tomorrow's run. No pun intended, no rhyme intended, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to post a video about it, what I did in this train cycle, my successes, my failures, um, or really my failure, I only made one proper failure, everything else went great, uh, I'm going to examine my body weight, maybe, everything went great, I'm going to examine my body weight, pun intended, it's not really a pun, but whatever, so yeah, I'm going to basically do a full assessment of the train cycle, which was basically 12 weeks plus one, a one week um, break incorporated, so really 12, 12 slash 13 weeks of training, I'm going to talk about my cardio, my flexibility, everything, strength as well. So, goodbye.